reason gold is so important, gold and silver, is because gold and silver is God's money. It's money made by God. And then in 1971, the U.S. government, under Tricky Dick, Nick, President Nixon, took God's money and turned it into man-made money. Never in the history of the world, this is the thing, never in the history of the world has this ever happened. In 1971, the U.S. and Nixon convinced the entire world to replace gold and silver with paper money. This stuff. Cash is trash. So the reason we have so much volatility in the world today is historically, since the time of the Romans and the Greeks and the French and the English and the Germans, every time they have taken God's money, like silver here, and replaced it with man-made money, there's been economic volatility. Now the problem is, so the dollar is going to keep dropping. So the, one of the reasons I can predict what's going to happen is I can predict the dollar will keep dropping simply because the U.S. government and now the euro, the European Central Banks, are printing so much of this trash. So you'll see gold going up in price, oil going up in price, real estate going up in price, because this is trash. So that's what happened in 1971. It's happened throughout history. And the reason this current election doesn't make any difference is the only person that can put this back in place is a strong, charismatic leader. People like uh, Julius Caesar, Napoleon. That's why there were such great leaders, was they actually replaced this with this. Unfortunately, we do not have that person among the candidates. I know Ron Paul, philosophically, I agree with him as closely as possible, but unfortunately, I don't think Ron Paul has the chutzpah, as my Jewish friends would say, to change this whole thing. So there will be more this printed than ever before, which means the dollar keeps coming down and other things keep going up. And that's really what's going to happen. It's predictable. And eventually, this will go to its true worth, zero. So all of you savers out there and people trying to save this trash, you're going to lose big time. With that, Mike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim was talking about the crystal ball, and Kelly was talking about cycles. And the way you make that crystal ball work is just reading economic history, because everything is just waves and cycles and waves and cycles this over, has happened and, over before, and over and over right? again. It's all happened before. In fact, the thing with the currency has literally happened hundreds of times, where they've gone to a from a... Uh, a an asset-backed currency. Currencies have been backed by oil, by gold and silver, by land. Uh, as soon as you remove something that you can't, something that puts uh, financial constraint on them, uh, where you can't just print as much of it as you want, the currency is pretty much doomed. Historically, throughout time, again, it's not crystal ball, it's called you know, prognostication. Every 75 years, there's a depression. The last depression was 1930. So we're right on it right now. Yeah. Now, again, the rich will get richer, and the poor and middle class will get wiped out, unfortunately. And what's really interesting, if you study history, there comes a time where the public, the mass psyche of the country and the world, this time the world, before it's always been a country, that the mass psyche starts to sense the currency debasement. Everybody should be able to feel it now. You go to the grocery store, you go to the gas station, you can feel that there's a currency debasement going on everything's costing more, your, your currency is losing purchasing power. And as the public starts to wake up, gold and silver go through the roof and all that paper that they've created, gold and silver do an accounting periodically throughout history. It's really exciting to see this. They automatically revalue themselves when the public wakes up and they catch up to all the currency that's been produced. And to me, I've been saying this for a number of years now, Silver is the biggest opportunity I have ever seen, bigger than real estate, bigger than anything else. And silver, as we're talking today, 2008, is about $15 an ounce. Mm -hmm. There's less than 10 years supply worth of silver on planet Earth. The difference between gold and silver is gold is hoarded, silver is consumed. Silver is an industrial precious metal. It is used in cell phones, telephones, computers, electric lights, everywhere. The more information age we become, the more we use silver. And what 
what uh, Michael is saying is that stockpile is at all-time lows, and they're not discovering much more. One of the things, uh, too, you, you can buy it and you can take it home. It can't go bankrupt on you. Uh, you can't yes, have a, a labor dispute or Enron accounting. It's just this super simple thing. You buy it now. You sit on it for five years. I don't know how long it's going to take. Two years, five years, ten years. We that is how fast it's going to hit people. If you can understand that, it is, that's why it's information age, not industrial age. And so all those, I feel, I feel for them, hoping the government's going to pay, you know, like, who's going to win? You know, is it Hillary? Is it Obama? Is it Mitt Romney? I mean, it doesn't, they can't do a thing about this. It's too late. It doesn't matter. What matters is how smart you are now. If you think these guys are going to save your family, I think you're in for a sad, rude awakening. Because we've been here before, and the middle class will probably be wiped out in America. Yeah, so I think during this cycle, the savers are going to be wiped out, the spenders are going to be wiped out. This. Those are fake million dollar yeah. bills, and they're going to be reality. Well, aren't you here? They've already proved, they've already shown their hand, they've already played their hand. Yeah. They're going to not, they're not even going to print this, it's just going to flood with this. So you're going to see this crash and then inflation like we've never seen before. So it really works for us is because we just keep collecting that rent, but then we can pay off those deadbeat loans of ours <laughs> with cheap money. That is, the, that is the strategy. In 1980, it took 1,000 ounces of gold to buy a single family, uh, silver, to buy a single family median price home in the United States, and silver was not rare then. When you measure things with gold and silver, there is no inflation. Everything just travels inside of a valuation channel going from overvalued to undervalued to overvalued to undervalued. That day will come again, but it's probably going to be less than 500 ounces. You want to buy a single family median price home outright, no payments, no down payment, 100% cash flow, put $8,000 aside today. <laughs> You're going to be able to do it in the in future. Silver. It's just history repeating. In silver. Silver, I'm don't, sorry. Silver. Don't hold cash. Right. Cash Gold is good too, but it won't perform as well. Is trash. Exactly. Repeat after me. Cash, cash is, is trash. trash. If you understand that one, your whole paradigm will shift.